hello and welcome to this video on interpolation so this is the second solution video using lagrange interpolation method now this question says a reservoir discharging water through sluice has a surface area variable of x as given below find the depth below the surface corresponding to a surface area of 5 using the lagrange interpolation okay so we are giving the table of value here, these are the values of our x and x indicates the surface area y indicates the depth now the values of s given are 1 3 4 and 5 and we are asked to find the depth which is the value of y corresponding to a surface area of 5 so which means the key interest is when x is equal to 5 all right so this is now the surface area to which we are to find the depth y using the lagrange interpolation now let's say you are not told to use the lagrange interpolation how do you now know if you are to use lagrange or not like i said in the previous video you check first using the interval now what is the interval interval simply means difference in the successive values of y if the interval is consistent or if the interval is equal it means we are going to be employing the newton's forward or backward interpolation but if the interval is not equal then it means we are going to be employing the lagrange interpolation so if you take a look at this now the interval h is equal to it can be 3 minus 1 and 3 minus 1 is equal to sorry 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 now the interval can also be 4 minus 3 so h equals 4 minus 3 so you observe that 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 which means this interval is not the same and since it's not equal it means we are going to be employing the lagrange interpolation method so i will drop a link to the first video on Lagrange interpolation method in the description of this video so you can actually watch the two for proper understanding okay so i said that the very first value of x is termed as x naught so this is x naught second value of x is termed as x1 x1 third value is x2 the last value in this case now is x3 which can also be called xn which indicates the last value of x Similarly, the first value of y here is called y naught. Second value is called y1. Third value, y2. And last value, y3, which can also be called yn. And you have this. Now, what is Lagrange interpolation formula? By formula, I said in the previous video that the Lagrange interpolation formula is given simply as this. So you consider each of the columns of x. For instance, when we are at x naught, okay we don't repeat x naught at the numerator rather x naught appears at the denominator so what happens is this you pick x which is a point of interest in this case x equal to 5 the surface area to which we are interpolating so it becomes x minus x1 so we skip column x naught and move straight to x1 multiplying x minus x1 multiplying x minus x2 multiplying x minus up to the last value x minus xn divide by now we use x naught which we have skipped at the numerator to subtract all the values of x at the denominator and multiply them together so it becomes x naught minus x1 times x naught minus x2 times x naught minus x3 up to the last number of x in this case x3 then after that we multiply the whole result by y naught since we had column um x naught so multiply by y naught the same thing happens you do this till the entire values of x are completed right so you add plus now you move to column x1 and when you add column x1 you don't repeat x1 at the numerator okay when you add column x1 you don't repeat x1 at the numerator so it becomes x minus x naught now we start from x naught so it becomes x minus x naught times x minus x2 so we skip x1 and jump through the x2 multiply x minus x3 now you divide through by what since we did not repeat x1 at the numerator now we use x1 as the denominator and subtract all the values of x so as can be seen here you have x1 minus x0 times x1 minus x2 times x1 minus x3 up to the last number then you multiply the equation by y2 so you continue doing this until you exhaust all the values of x so it's as simple as this so let's start with the first one we are now at column x0 okay which means we are not to repeat x0 at the numerator so let's see how it works it means now that y is equal to remember x is the value we are interpolating and the value of x here is equal to 5 given to us in the question so it becomes 5 
minus so we don't repeat x naught at the numerator x naught in this case is one we skip to where x1 so it becomes five minus three which is x1 okay multiply by x again minus x2 and x is five minus x2 in this case is four multiply again by x minus x3 or which is xn x again is five minus x and there is six now divide through by okay so we now repeat x naught at the new denominator using x naught now to subtract all the values of x and multiplying them together so x naught is one you have one minus x one x one is three okay multiply by x naught one minus x two x two is four okay multiply by x naught which is one minus x3 or xn and xn there is 6. Now the whole of this equation multiply by y naught and y naught here is simply negative 3. You have this plus. So now we move to column x1. So at column x1 we don't repeat x1 at the numerator rather x1 comes at the denominator. So remember again it becomes x minus all the values of x excluding x1. So you have x and x is 5. That gives us 5 minus x naught. x naught is 1. So 5 minus 1. Okay. Times again x minus x2. So we skip x1 now and jump straight to x2. x is itself is 5 minus x2 is 4. Multiply by x minus x3. And x3 is 6. So you have 5 minus 6. 5 minus 6 now divide through by so we now repeat x um x1 as the denominator so we use x1 to subtract all the values of x and multiply them together okay so you have x1 itself is 3 minus x naught is 1 multiplies x1 which is 3 minus x2 which is 4 so 3 minus 4 times x naught which is um, times x1 which is 3 minus x3 plus 3 minus 6 so we multiply this result now by y um by y1 and y1 is 0 so multiply through by 0 okay all right so now we move straight to column x2 so you add plus now since we are at column x2 we don't repeat x2 at the numerator right so we subtract every other values of x from the point of interest which is x equal to 5 so we have now x which is 5 minus x naught and x naught is 1 so 5 minus 1 multiplies 5 or x minus x minus x1 which is 5 minus 3 okay multiply by so we skip x2 now because we had column x2 it becomes 5 minus 6 all over so now we repeat x2 at the denominator so you have x2 which is 4 minus x naught x naught is 1 okay times x2 is 4 minus x not x1 x1 is 3 times x2 which is 4 minus xn or x x3 x3 here is 6 so minus 6 so you multiply the whole of this equation by y um y2 and y2 here is 30 so multiply by 30 plus so we are the last value now again you don't repeat xn or x3 now at the numerator so you subtract every other values of x here from the point of interest which is x so you have 5 minus x naught which is 1 multiplies 5 minus x1 which is 3 multiply 5 minus x2 which is 4 all over so now we repeat x3 at the denominator so it becomes 6 minus x0 which is 1 times 6 minus x1 which is 3 okay 6 minus 3 times 6 minus x2 which is 4 6 minus 4 so we multiply this now by what y3 which is which is 132 so multiply by 132 and that's it guys so i'm just going to evaluate everything together so do well to point along with me
all right guys so um, upon evaluation mind you the whole of this is multiplying by zero which means the whole of this equation is going to automatically become zero so this part is neglected since we're multiplying this by zero so when we subtracted everything at numerator we had this um two one negative one and same thing as at the denominator we had this result so just do where to compare these results right to ensure a consistency in the calculation but this um case but this is nullified because of this zero so i'm going to be punching everything all together to obtain a final result all right guys so upon final evaluation we had y to be equal to 74.87 so that's the value of y um that's the value of the depth when the surface area is equal to five um five okay so that's the um, value of the depth when the surface area is equal to five so basically uh well, we evaluated everything we had here six device negative 18 plus negative 240 device negative um six so negative signs cancel once again guys just do well to cross check the solution to avoid any calculation error but if there is you can also point it out in the comment section but that's it on lagrange interpolation method in the next video i'm going to be coming up with a different example on, on lagrange interpolation method i'm sure you want to be a part of that video so do where to smash the subscribe button right now and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos on numerical methods when it drops i will see you in the next video thanks